The event commemorated the lives lost to domestic violence in Hawaii and efforts to raise awareness and resources to a problem that is still resulting in deaths. Make sure that we say the names of the individuals who have passed away by domestic violence in the last year. It's important to remember our victims um, and to honor the families and bring healing to our community. Christina Baca. Christina Baca is the latest name. Her body was found with gunshot wounds last month in a storm drain near UH Manoa. HPD says murder suspect Gibran Copeland was her boyfriend. We look at there has been presence of, of firearms. We have, well, 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 we know that some of them um, have been choked or strangled. Those grim factors are tracked by the Hawaii Coalition Against Domestic Violence. The list of 13 victims read tonight includes the Oda family, who were stabbed to death by their husband and father. Zoe Hay, whose boyfriend is accused of strangling her. And Misha Johnson, who disappeared from Schofield Barracks and whose husband is now behind bars. On one night in September last year, 365 adult and child victims of domestic violence were counted in Hawaii shelters. There were 110 calls to domestic violence hotlines, but victims also made 20 requests for services that couldn't be met because of a lack of resources. Teresa Cachuela. Teresa Cachuela had a protective order against her estranged husband when he shot her to death three days before Christmas last year. Her mother was at tonight's vigil. Honestly, I'm still in shock. I still cannot believe that she's gone. And I wish she was still here because it's, it's like a hole, you know, like I'm feel broken. That heartache is fueling awareness and change. We're going to continue to recruit psychologists, psychiatrists, social workers so that we have more, just more capacity because a lot of people would like to get help and tragically they don't, they don't find someone that can help them in time. We need to do more. Domestic violence is still happening. We don't want to list another name of somebody who's passed away by domestic violence. We want to make sure that there's more being done to support the survivors in our community. And the victim's families are also trying to find some healing. You know, I forgive. I'm starting to forgive a lot that has happened. And that's the only reason why I can stand out here and just give everybody else hope. And give my daughter a voice and give everybody else a voice. Who needs to have a voice to speak up and say, hey, this is not right. The governor and some families say there is legislation in the works to strengthen temporary restraining orders to better protect victims. More resources against domestic violence are available on our website. Ben Gutierrez, Hawaii News Now.